How will today's Excel tip enhance your data analysis? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. What we're going to do in this lesson is talk about styles. Now, let me go ahead and define what styles are. Styles are essentially just a preset saved set of formats. And this is going to allow us to be more efficient and more consistent with our formatting. So if you want all of your cells to look exactly the same across the board and you want to do it quickly, you would use styles. And when I say you want your cells to look a certain way, it could be your fill, it could be your fonts, it could be your font color, it could even be dollars and percentage, etc. So let's go ahead and see where all of our cell styles live. So if we go over to here to the Home tab, you'll notice here how we have a Styles group and we have this option for Cell Styles. Now the first thing I'm going to do to show you how this works is simply just highlight a whole bunch of cells because I'd like to format that. But I don't want to do it manually with this way with our font and alignment and a number. I'm going to go over here to my Styles group and choose Cell Styles. Now what you'll see here is a bunch of preset formats. Now, if I want to just kind of shop around and browse, all I have to do is just move my mouse over any of these, and you'll see it gives me instant feedback of what that style is going to look like. Again, all these are our preset formats. So I'm going to go ahead now and choose Heading 1 just like that. And you'll notice how it becomes bold and blue, and there's a nice little bottom border there. Let's go ahead and choose this one. This is a green background with some basic text. And let's go over to here to this one. This is going to be a blue background with white text. So you can see all of these are all preset. Now, if you shop around a little bit, you'll notice that there are some that say currency. There's some down here we have for number format, comma, currency again, percentage, etc. Now, what we're going to do in this first part of the lesson is just apply some of the ones that are preset. And then what we're going to do is create our own custom format. So let's just choose any one of these. Let's go over to here to this red one. And just like that, it's now formatted. Great. Let's go ahead and do that one more time for this one here in row nine. Come back here to cell styles. This time I'm going to choose heading two. That's great. And this. And now let's go ahead and choose all of the content in row 17. Choose cell styles. And then from here, let's choose one that says total. And the reason why I'm showing you that one is because I don't want you to take these things beyond face value. I want you to really understand that they're only just suggestions of how you may use them. So even though this says total, I can use this as a heading. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay, this says heading one, it doesn't have to be a heading one. So it's really up to you. So I'll choose that, and just like that, I am good to go. Super happy with that. All right, so you'll see there's a number of different ways to do this more efficiently and also to have consistency. And if I wanted all of these to be consistent, I would choose row nine and then come over to here to cell styles and then make it match just like that. And then once again, do the same exact thing. Cell styles, come over to here. Boom, good to go. But now my boss comes over and says, listen, we're not using any of these preset colors. I would like to use a completely different one that's gonna have our font, different size, maybe you want it to be aligned. Again, you want it to be completely custom. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is just create my format manually. And I'm gonna do it here on the front end. I like to call this the front end and my cell styles the back end. So I choose everything here in my front end and I'm gonna use all of the tools and all the formatting options that we learned earlier by saying, hey, listen, you know what? I'd like to have a different color. So let's just choose purple, make that stand out a little bit. I'm gonna make that bold. I'm gonna center it. And then let's now just choose a completely different font now. I'll choose Aptos and I really like that. It's got everything I want. Now, what I'd like to do is make all of these have the same look and feel as this. So what I'm gonna do is create a custom style so I can use it again and again. So go over to here to cell styles, click on that drop down, and then way down at the bottom, you're gonna see is new cell style. I click on that, and now all I do is simply give it a name. All right, so I'm gonna call this Dave Heading. That's great. Now. If you look down on the bottom, it's giving me confirmation of everything that's there for the most part. I've got fill shaded, I got no border, there's my Aptos 11, etc. If I wanted to go even deeper than this, I could click on format. It's going to take me to all my options here for my font, potentially adding on a very kind of nuanced border. You can do all that. There's my fill, and there's a nice little preview of that purple I chose. 
great, I'm super happy with that. So I don't really need to do much of anything. So I'm gonna click on cancel and then click OK. All right, now the weird thing about working with styles is that even though I use this as the mold for my style, the style is not applied to this. And that's gonna be very important in just a few minutes. So go ahead again, highlight everything you have here. Let's go back to cell styles. And I want you to notice inside my custom group is there it is, Dave Heading. Now, the reason why I'm applying it is because even though this was the mold, it doesn't actually have the style applied to it. And you'll see why that's important in just a moment. So I click on that, and now that has the Dave Heading style on it. So let's continue on. I'm gonna click on these guys, choose Cell Styles, Dave Heading, click on that one, and repeat, Dave Heading. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that until maybe I'm not, because guess what? My boss comes over and says, you know what, we're not doing purple anymore. And you know what, I wouldn't mind actually having a border there, something like that, like things are gonna change. Well, remember earlier we talked about consistency and efficiency. Well, let's see the next level of efficiency because now what I'm going to do is change everything just by going over here to the cell styles and we're gonna have a nice cascading effect that everything will then change. Without having to make three changes, I just make one change. So let's go back over to here to Cell Styles. And this time, instead of selecting it, I'm going to right click on it and choose Modify. I choose Modify, and now this is gonna take me to that same exact dialog box where I can now change my format. For everything that has Dave heading will then follow suit. So I click on Format, and let's now do this nice little light green. I click OK, click OK again, and now look at that. Every single one of them changed. Think about what a tremendous time saver that is. Once you start using styles, you're gonna see that level of efficiency and thereby also giving you consistency will make you so much more productive. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions and decide what you wanna learn next.